Hey, Hello. how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm really, really good. Thanks for taking the time to chat. Oh, well, thank you. We're excited. Uh, We're really excited to have you at Montreal Comic Con, man. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm excited about being there. Yeah, looking forward to it. Have you have you done cons before? I well, I did one in Calgary. Okay, uh, and that was my first one ever. How do you? How, how was that this year? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what'd you think? <laughs> uh, I had a, I had a great time. Yeah, I imagine it must be. I mean, if you've never had you participated before, just as a fan. What have I? Well, I guess I'd been to Comic Con once briefly for an animated show, San Diego, in, in San yeah. Diego. Yeah, um, but that was really just I was just there to do. I did a panel and was in and out, so I didn't right. really hang out much. So the Calgary one was kind of my first real experience. And of, uh, was it? Did you like it? Did you find it weird? Did they... it? Well, it's everything. It's yeah. It's I liked it <laughs> yeah. as in part as a fan because there were a lot of people there that I was a fan of. Sure, I got sure I got to see. You know, I got there like John Cleese was there and wow. Oh, so for you that must have been huge. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, people like friends of mine who I hadn't seen in a long time, Brendan Fraser was there and yeah, uh Kevin Smith and uh I was gonna say oh the um the uh, trailer park boys were there, which oh was, nice, which okay, was fun so. for me because I hadn't really gotten a chance to hang out with those guys before. So we, we spent quite a bit of time hanging out. So that's gotta be it, you know, I'm, I'm a spokesperson for our show and I always, you know, I've been doing this for over a decade and I always try to, my, my job is to explain to the regular people why you need to come to Comic-Con Yeah. and just your reaction when you said you spoke to John Cleese, like I could see the twinkle in your eye, even through zoom. Yeah. That's, it's, it's those special things, those special moments that you have. Everybody has them at Comic-Con, no matter who you are. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I'm lucky. I'm, I'm in show business. Yeah, And one of the best things about being in show business and having some moderate success is uh, that I've gotten to meet so many people that I've admired and, and whose work I've loved over right. the years. And, and I still, I still really enjoy that. And, but, but this is, I guess the, the, the cons is a way for people who aren't in show business to yeah. have that same to, experience to actually exactly an, an unfiltered uh, moment with, with somebody whose work they've enjoyed. Well, I think it's really nice that you're open to it and that you're coming because most of the people that have never been to a con before, once they experience a weekend, um, they love it. And, and, and there's yeah. so many, you know, there's so many reasons for it. I mean, obviously it's, it's great to, to see your fans, but just the, to, to be able to have that, you know, you're, you, you work in a medium where you're, you're sheltered in a way. I mean, you, you work with a crew, yeah. you know, and then you bring this stuff into the world, but a lot of the time you can't sit and see people's reactions. So to have yeah. someone be able to come up to you and say, I've been watching you since this. And, you know, like, you know, it's, it's gotta be a nice, nice feeling. It's wonderful. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's very emotional, yeah. uh, which is, you know, sometimes it's very moving. Um, some of the stories you hear from people and, you know, it feels very, you know, rewarding, uh, you know, so, uh, so it's, there's, it's definitely, um, as I said, I mean, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm, I've always enjoyed whenever I get to meet people that, that watch the things I've done, I'm, I'm you know, uh, you know, except for the ones that come up and tell me how old I am. Uh, I usually enjoy it. Those ones go, oh man, you got old. And it's like, and you, and time stood still for you, I suppose. I, I guess it was just me. I should have, uh, I should have, I should have stayed in the time shelter like you did. So, yeah, I guess some people don't have filters, but that's, no. that's, what, that's what happens when you yeah. meet your public, right? This is a very different time for comedy. Um, and I've had this discussion with many people, um, you know, comedies, comedies had a rough couple of years with, uh, with the way the world is kind of shifting. And I, yeah. how, how different was it for you guys to, you know, present new episodes of kids in the hall in this new climate? Was it difficult or did you guys just do what you do? Uh, well, for us, it's, uh, it wasn't, I don't think it was really that difficult for us. I think we just do what we do. Um, right. And, and I would, I would say, I mean, look, the, the whole notion of like, you know, I guess we're talking about political correctness. Yeah. Was something that, that first sort of uh, became a public issue in, in the eighties. Yeah. You know? And in fact, that some, I've seen people posting a sketch of from the old kids in the hall show, people have been posting it on social media of us sort of dealing with the uh, extremes and absurdity of some of the social, uh, some of the uh, political correctness movement from the right. 80s. Right. Uh, but I say in general, as a, as a troop, we believe in political correctness. Of course. So it's, we're not, we're not railing against it. Um, I mean, we will, we'll, 
I think we'll satirize when it's absurd. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I'm, you know, fortunately for comedy, uh, most, most groups of human beings uh, will veer into the absurd eventually. Um, yeah. But, but we've always kind of seen, you know, the kind of comedy we do has always been kind of about being inclusive and about being empathetic. And yeah. like, we're not, we're not a troop that was ever out uh, to, to really, you know, really attack anyone or, or, or mock anyone or, you know, so we were all, we always, we've always been these sort of leftist. Right. Of course, you know, of course. It's, but, but I would guys, imagine anyway, I would imagine you would still find some people that would not be able to see the layer there. And that might just see some stuff for Facebook. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah. there's, oh, there's a ton of that. There's a ton of that. And, uh, and here's what I, I would say that uh, like in the new kids in the hall show, uh, everything that we got in the show, uh, we got, we did exactly as we wanted to do it. Right. Uh, but w- was there stuff that we, that we wrote that we couldn't do? Yeah, there was, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, uh, and it's, and part of, a lot of that is, uh, dealing with people that are, are I guess there's, fe- there's a lot of fear yeah. in the marketplace right now. Uh, a lot of fear, um, you know, from, uh, from all the platforms about being, the t- you know, being targeted. And, uh, and I think it's, it's, uh, you know, I think this time will pass. Yeah. I agree. Uh, you know, I think uh, we, we de- we're definitely dealing um, with a period when we're, I think social media, I think the importance and the, uh, the scope of social media has been greatly exaggerated and people are far too fearful of it. And, uh, you know, it's basically, it's always the thing. Whoever has the, whoever has a mic, whoever has a loud enough microphone gets undue, uh, uh, consideration. Yeah. And we've now given this really loud microphone to just about everybody. I know it's like, everybody's got a license to broadcast, which is crazy. Yeah. 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 And so we've given, we've given a whole generation that, and as a parent, I know that we've raised an entire generation who really can't do anything. Uh, and we've given them this incredibly powerful tool. <laughs> you know, I've got, I've got an 18 year old and a 15 year old. And I just, I'm, I, I'm, my son's in his second year of CJEP and I'm like, what, oh. are, you, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. But, but I, you know, when I was his age, I, I, I was, I wanted to be a musician and that's what I pursued until I had him. So, yeah. you know, I had my but, dream and I, and I did it. So but when we were teenagers, we could walk around the block without getting lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now it's, I need to, I need to put ways in, but you're going to the dinner. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, if you, if you take a series of right turns, you'll be back home. That's all you need to know. <laughs> um, I, I'm so happy that, that you guys are back. Um, I know that this, it, it seems right now that this is a limited thing. Is was this a kind of thing to test the waters? Will there be more, or is it too soon to ask you that? It's not too soon. It's, it's too soon for me to answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> please. So, yeah, we're still waiting. We're waiting yeah. on uh, Amazon is uh, analyzing all of their data. Mm. Um, and uh, and uh, we're hoping that they'll have a decision soon. But uh, the troop, yeah, the troop, the troop is standing by waiting to uh, we need to hear if we're going to start making some more this summer. Amazon analyzing their data sounds like a bunch of young kids with telephones that don't know what to do. I'm scared. <laughs> <for you. laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Dave, I really appreciate you taking time. I know you got a lot going on, but uh, we're really excited to have you at Montreal Comic Con. And oh, uh, thanks, I'm really and, looking forward to it. I hope, yeah, yeah, and and I know, um, I know you've probably you have spent time in Montreal. I'm sure. I mean, Montreal yeah. is just a, it's a great comedy city. It's a great city, and Montreal in the summer, um, you know, the first summer back after COVID, or, or at least after you know everything's kind of calmed down, is going to be a beautiful thing. So I'm glad yeah, you're a part of it. I think it'll be fun. I haven't been haven't been there in a few years, so I'm yeah, I'm excited about it. It's going to be great. We'll definitely chat with you when you're here. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks, man. Oh, 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 oh,